I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Here we got a roll program. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept. One we are unwilling to postpone and one we intend to win, and the others do. Mission Control, James Turner, reporting uh, on the vehicle, maneuvering to the proper attitude, everything looking good at this point. 17 is go. Register, I'm going to go. First stage looks good, altitude 1.1 miles. Humanity's return to the moon. With the Artemis program, NASA will land the first woman and next man on the moon by 2024, using innovative technologies to explore more of the lunar surface than ever before. They will collaborate with other commercial and international partners such as SpaceX, and establish sustainable exploration by 2028. Then, after acquiring new knowledge, on and around the moon, they will take the next giant leap, sending astronauts to Mars.
We are going to the moon, to prepare for Mars. NASA's goal is to go farther into the solar system than ever before. To prepare for Mars we must study and prove new human deep space capabilities on our moon. SpaceX Moon Mission Returning to the Moon and developing bases to support future space exploration requires the transport of large amounts of cargo to the Moon for research and human spaceflight development. The fully reusable Starship system is capable of supporting this effort by carrying the building blocks needed to enable a Moon base and by informing the development of propulsive landing systems to help realize this future. The first proposed moon mission will be in the year 2023 when Japanese billionaire Yasaku Maezawa will fly on a SpaceX Starship private spaceflight on a single circumlunar trajectory around the moon. The mission was named the Dear Moon Project and is going to be the first lunar tourism and art mission on its kind outside of Earth. The passengers will be Maezawa, several artists, and one or two crew members.
Our moon makes Earth a more livable planet by moderating our home planet's wobble on its axis, leading to a relatively stable climate and creating a tidal rhythm that has guided humans for thousands of years. The moon was likely formed after a Mars-sized body collided with Earth and the debris formed into the most prominent feature in our night sky. It is the only celestial a body beyond Earth that has been visited by human beings. We go now to the moon, not as a destination, but as a proving ground for all the technology, science, and human exploration efforts that will be critical for missions to Mars. On the lunar surface we will pursue water ice and other natural resources that will further enable deep space travel. From the moon, humanity will take the next giant leap to Mars.